Okay, let's see if I can make this video and not, and not butcher it up too bad. Um, hopefully you already know what a TED is, but just in case, um, just real quick, TED stands for The Energy Detective. And my wife and I, we bought this unit, I don't know, maybe two years ago, and we've been very happy with it. It's pretty cool. Basically just measures your power and gives you a real-time display of how much power you're using um, at any time and then also keeps track of it so you can graph it and uh, you can also <clears throat> enter how much your power your kilowatt hours cost is and it'll basically project your electric bill you know things like that and measures you know your voltage and things like that it's pretty cool but the biggest benefit of it is that you know you just you're more aware of your power consumption we have our display in front of our sink so whenever we're in the kitchen you know, you just kind of instinctively just look at it and you realize, oh, wait a minute, something must be on. And then you go run around and figure out what the heck's taking so much electricity and then realize, oh, the dryer's running or something like that. But anyway, basically the point of this video is that uh, we had our TED and, and uh, we were enjoying it. And then I installed an alarm system and the alarm system is compatible with X10. In other words, the alarm system can control lights and things like that <clears throat> and I wanted to take advantage of it so I installed some X10 switches and you probably know what those are They're, you have like these little lamp modules um, you plug them into an outlet and you so they're uh, addressable so that you have each one of these on there as, as their own uh, ID and then the alarm system can send a signal to this guy and say turn the light on or off you know so you can set it up on the schedule to have the lights turn on at certain times of the day and turn off um, or if the alarm goes off you can have it send a signal to flash the lights and things like that and they also have wall switches that are compatible as well so I installed all those and they kind of worked but they were somewhat unreliable and through doing some research I realized that what was going on is that the TED was interfering with those signals so I realized that what I had to do is isolate the TED from the X10 because the X10 I want to be, be able to go throughout all of the circuits in the house that way uh, the alarm system control control any of those uh, switches um, but the TED I really don't need it um, to be you know throughout the electrical system so I, I want to isolate it and just real quick the way the TED works is that this unit right here is sort of is basically the measuring device so the uh, red and black leads here they're basically hooked to a breaker uh, actually no they're not they're actually they have a CT lead in fact if I follow these you can kinda of see this goes and it comes up here and you can see these CT leads right here going around the mains. So basically, the um, this unit is measuring the power coming into the house. And then what happens is it sends the results of those measurements over this wire here. And basically, that's supposed to go into a, a breaker. And so that that signal is basically traveling over your electrical system. Well, in this case, I didn't want it to be traveling over the, the main electrical system, so I just put in a separate outlet. And so it's feeding into here. And this is the main unit, main head unit of the TED, the brain, if you will. It's got like an embedded operating system. And so what it does is it picks up those signals over the electrical system. Basically, it just plugs in. And basically you can um, you can access this guy here it's basically a little computer over cat5 so I have this going to my router and I can log in to this guy and look at graphs and things like that but anyway basically this outlet is isolated from the electrical system and the way I did that I mean essentially you have to have power right this guy needs power to run and then also this unit here needs power to run and so what I did is I installed a filter, an inline filter, in order to, to send power to these guys, but filter those 
um, filter those signals so that it wouldn't interfere with the X10. So basically uh, the way this works is this guy is wired into a, a breaker and then that's that the other wire comes out and feeds this outlet and so this guy gets power it's filled you know it's basically isolated and then this guy here also gets power now the other thing that I did as well that's it's related but not directly it's similar is this guy here this is an X10 transmitter so basically what it does is it listens for X10 signals and whenever it detects any X10 it turns around and rebroadcasts that X10 at a higher signal because I guess the way that X10 works is um, it, it sends the signal twice um, and so this thing basically knows that protocol and uh, it's a sort of a timing thing right it, it detects the first X10 signal and then it jumps on top of it and sends it again at a higher um, at a higher uh, power and this thing has really helped a lot basically this is uh, this guy is in St. George Utah I think and it's JV Digital Engineering and this thing has worked really well I'm very happy with it so that's it um, if you have X10 and are having trouble with it you might want to consider, I don't, you know, maybe it's not the TED that's interfering, maybe it's something else similar, but if you can track it down and figure out what it is, then you can just put in a filter and uh, try to isolate whatever it is that's interfering with that X10. In my case, it was this, this TED unit, which I really liked and wanted to keep, so I basically just isolated the TED onto its own circuit. Hopefully this is helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.